With the motu proprio ad carisma tuendum, Pope Francis adapts the norms governing the relationship between the prelature of Opus Dei and the Vatican, following the change made in the new apostolic constitution, Predicate Evangelium. In it, Opus Dei ceased to communicate with the dicastery of bishops for its affairs, and will now report to the dicastery for the clergy. With the motu proprio, Opus Dei will report to the Vatican on the progress of its apostolic initiatives every year instead of every five years, as was previously the case. In the past, if Opus Dei had issues that did not concern the dicastery of bishops, it could go directly to other dicasteries, but not anymore. Now, the dicastery for the clergy will handle any concerns and questions that emerge. Finally, from now on, the prelate of Opus Dei will no longer be a bishop, and the motu proprio explains why. This change reinforces the conviction that in order to safeguard this special gift of the Holy Spirit, a form of government based more on charism than on hierarchical authority is necessary. The prelature of Opus Dei issued a communique which stresses that the motu proprio is an occasion to reflect on its charism. It also recalls that it is not necessary for the prelate to be ordained a bishop. In fact, the founder of Opus Dei, St. Jose Maria Escriba, never was. Now, the prelature will have to adapt its statutes to the changes established in this motu proprio. It will have to present a proposal to the Holy See, who will then have to approve it. Doctors, researchers, and historians help us decipher the most remembered crime in history. For the first time, we look at the mystery of the cross from a scientific perspective. The Passion of Jesus a medical investigation.